So this is the starting report for 2009. The worst winter Canada suffered in 40 years. The whole country got snowed out, even British Columbia where it usually doesn't snow too much. Anyways, let's tell you what happened with every car because now I guess you could all say they're running sort of. Well, this was a fail. Started most of the winter, but then corrosion got underneath the ignition plate where it grounds and it didn't start near the end of the winter, but it's fixed now. For the 1989 Dodge Caravan that was swamping the lake, well, its distributor is still stuck and rusted into the engine and I can't get it out and that's why it has no spark and won't start. Pass. My diesel caravan started up fine after sitting all winter. The Chevy Act just had no choke and now that it does have a manual choke, it starts fine. Same for the 77 truck. Just needed the choke position reset so it didn't open as much and lean it out. The Buick Halfmaster, it always started fine. So did the Aries wagon, it's a winner. And my 2002 caravan I got at the auction, never let me down. My bus always started except the one time when my batteries were dead. Ford truck didn't let me down this year, started fine. And so did my 76 Whale. <laughs> it started great too with just a few pumps. This car was a fail too. It also had corrosion underneath the spark computer mounting plate. Aerostar redneck van. Well, still not fixed yet because I gotta bring my tractor back, but it has a corroded off wire in the starting a corroded off wire on the starter motor. Dump truck started perfect, but the fuel pump wouldn't work in cold weather, but ran off the bottle. When it warmed up, it started great by itself. And the dead neck roller coaster started great every time I tried it, even when it was full of snow under the hood. Four more passes. That Saturn started, no matter how much snow it had under the hood. I know that LeBaron runs fine, but I don't want to put gas in it because the owner won't pay me for the gas. Garrett Tercel always started great. Can depend on your 3.3 modified Buick 3.8 it always started great of course my Subaru never let me down nor did my Canadian made 77 tradesman van it would always start instantly now we're back into the depths of the forest and we'll get to them my Nissan was definitely a pass never let me down and my Toyota did combination of water and a fuel stale fuel fouled spark plugs but running great now El Toromino started that's more than I can say for most Tauruses. Ah, my Irish Toyota. Anyways, pissed me off a lot. Turned out to be the wire underneath the air cleaner box, which you couldn't see. And you had to break all the bolts to get the air cleaner box off to find it, and it wasn't grounding properly. So it was causing intermittent computer failure. And my foffy cock couldn't rise out of the forest and drive away because it had chewed off wires by a mouse. And this turd had a running fuel pump that didn't put out enough fuel pressure, but now it's working great. Rick's Ford Ranger always started. So did that Swedish Volvo. And that Honda. And that Toyota works great too. It never failed me. My knock knock, oh I mean Chevy truck, never failed me either. And my Dodge van had a bad fuel pump, but fixed now too. The Camry was the most mysterious of all. It was acting just like a woman. It didn't want to put out in the winter time when I wanted it to, <laughs> when it was cold and I needed it bad. But in the spring when it got warm, she started up just fine. Just like a typical woman. You never know when you can get to get some and get her running and get her going. The red Corolla, perfect. 3.1 Glan P, fired up great every time. The Suzuki Geo, whatever you want to call that thing. Well, sort of a pass the first time, fired on one cylinder, new battery second time, ran great. You can always depend on your Chevrolet to start in a cold day, and my 3.1 high output Eurosport Celebrity Wagon never let me down. Now that it's all said and done, we're ready for a rip-roaring good year in 2009. Sweet. And I dedicate this video to John Jones of Germantown, Maryland, who's 15 years old, been bugging me all the time. Dave's farm rocks.